Hey guys, how's everyone doing? So I was just cleaning my wife's car not too long ago and I noticed something different on this car that my TLX doesn't have and none of the Hondas have and I think it was a good way for Acura to address a problem. Um, if you guys remember a lot of cars, a lot of the Honda products at least, they had it because they start using aluminum hoods. So people would say as they drive down the uh, freeway, you'd see the hood vibrate a little bit. Uh, my cord had that um, a little bit, not so much at idle, but anytime the road got a little rough or you started going a little fast, um, the hood would move. And hence being aluminum hood, it's lighter weight, you know, it's weight savings and all that, but it does flex more. So um, you got more movement. And then there's little things I did. I added some weather stripping inside the when you first open it i put some weather stripping down there and it helped helped it not move as much but i thought it was interesting that on this car they designed it a little differently so it kind of eliminates that and i thought it would have been a good thing if honda used that for some of their products um let me go ahead and show you what i'm talking about here So let me know if you guys can spot the difference here that you have not seen on, I don't, I haven't seen on any other Honda Acura product, to be honest. Can you spot anything different? Well, it's right here with these two hooks they have. So every car that I've seen Honda or Acura, they have one. This car utilizes two. So as you can tell, this would do a lot better job of stabilizing it. And then if you look in here, they also use additional bracket here where it just bolts to the hood. Where most of the other ones are recessed inside the hood here and they had problems with them snapping. So now what they did, they just put a bracket and bolted it straight to the hood. So less chance to break here and easy to replace. So like my car, most Hondas, they have it right in the middle here. They have one point where it connects. So you can see how you'd have flex on both sides of the hood um, just because the hoods are wide. But now this one, I like the design. They use two hooks here. So there's no movement at all. It's really solid when you shut it. I thought that was interesting that using two. I never saw a car like that until I paid attention. Like I said, the Acura hood, it being so long, like the Acura TLX hoods are so long, Maybe that's why it doesn't move because it only connects by one. Um, but that's a good idea. Like the pilot that we had, it moved a little bit. That issues with that. It just utilized one. So I think that's a good idea that maybe the cars in the future will use that. Use the um, two points where it connects. A lot more stable, a lot more solid on the freeway. Um, just a better design. I mean, yeah, you have two moving parts, so you have to make sure they're greased and that kind of stuff. But I feel it's a more solid design that way. And then also what's nice about this is say one, one side breaks in the event something happens and it cracks. You have two pins holding it down. So it wouldn't be like the recall that they had where if one breaks, the hood could fly open at, when you're on the freeway. This would kind of prevent that. So I think it's a good, a good design. I've never seen it before. Um, let me know in the comment section if you've seen a car that uses two points like that. I've never, like I said, the... Hondas I've had and Acuras and my current Acura TLX is always one. So I thought that was a great design and hopefully going forward, they utilize that in more of the vehicles that they produce. Okay. So again, I just wanted to share that with you. If you didn't know, that's the reason they do it. It's more stable. Um, it's a more solid connection, of course. So we'll let you guys know. So again, I appreciate all you guys' support. I really do. If you haven't, please hit that subscribe button. I'll have content coming up weekly. Um, it helps me out a lot, and I love engaging with you guys, learning about what you guys are doing with your rides and what you found out as well. So until next time, take care, guys.